Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you the best owners to tame on Velcro. Now just a reminder as all these videos, I'm keeping this list to donors native to Valguero. There may be other donors that are better that you can bring from other maps, but I'm saving them for the other maps. This is just donors you can tame on Valguero. As always guys, thank you so much for the continued support. I really can't believe how far we've come and your support is amazing. Remember to check out my channel if there's a guide you want to see. And if there's something I haven't got that you want to see, remember you can always put it in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions. This is enough of me talking, let's get into the video. Number one. We're going straight in big with this one. We've got the Ice Wyvern. Now, Valguero is a pretty big map, so although a smaller flyer would do, it's not ideal. Valguero is the best map to get Ice Wyvern eggs, as there's a whole trench dedicated for it. So as soon as you got your base up, I would be looking into going hunt for an egg. Ice Wyverns are very underrated in both PvE and PvP situations. As you can see with this Allosaurus, its ice breath will slow down enemies, and it slows them for a stupidly long time. This makes fighting almost any dino really easy. They're obviously fast as well, as fast as any other Wyvern, they're also very intimidating, making this the best flyer native to Valguero. Number 2 Coming in at our second spot, we have the Gigantopithecus. Now, I think these guys are really underrated dinos in general, but often on Valguero, on the spawn points it can be a little crowded. So occasionally, if it's very busy, I'll spawn in the redwoods. This helps to avoid the crowds on the beach. Now, Gigantopithecus can be tamed just with berries, and this makes it very easy to get early on. They're very fast, they're surprisingly strong, but they're also not too big so you can blend them with your environment. They can jump, making them able to climb things pretty well. Just be careful on them though, because they do take full damage pretty bad, like a human. Another good thing about them, especially early game, is that you can choose what you want to harvest. So if you need fiber, you can harvest just fiber with them. And they harvest it very well, but you can also harvest berries with it, making them a pretty good all-rounder when you start. Their attacks are quite overpowered as well, especially on smaller dinos, because they'll cause a knockback effect. This means as long as you time your attacks right, smaller dinos won't even touch you. And just remember, if you do get stuck in a sticky situation, you can always suicide it and launch yourself to safety. Try and remember to bring parachutes with you though, it's a lot more effective. Number 3. Valguero has a pretty big aberration zone, and unless you're on a server that has been disabled, you won't be able to have flyers in this area. Now we do have a few good options for this area, and it was tough deciding between this and the Ravager. But purely for how fun they are, I had to choose the Roll Rat. That and how quickly you can get around the area on one of these. They're relatively strong for what they are, especially if you get a high level one. But it's not even the end of the world if you haven't got a high level, because they're very fast, you can get away from anything. Plus you've got to be a pretty bad person to attack someone rolling through the streets of one of these. I personally don't really like the Aberration Zone on Valguero. I much prefer the surface, but if you do live down here, or you need to travel down here, a roll rat is one of your best options. Number 4 So for our number 4 spot, technically we have 3 dinos. So, the first one is obviously the Argy and the Yankee. Now the reason I've included these is because Valguero is much like the island in some ways, and that is in terms of metal being clumped together. So there is areas of metal spread out, but the best areas, there'll be big clumps of metal together. So your best way to get metal is to do one of these big runs of an Argy and an Yankee and you're going to be set for a long time. In case you're wondering, this is one of the best areas. It's in the Chalk Hills, and it's at about 94, 91. The Aberration Zone isn't as good for metal, but getting metal from the surface down here can be a bit of a pain. So if you do live in the Aberration Zone, I recommend getting yourself a Carcanos. The Carcanos can carry Ankies, as well as other dinos, very big dinos in fact. It can also jump far, making carrying it not too slow, and it also has a lot of weight, making it kind of the RG of the land. Number five. Now, this wouldn't be a Valguero list without the Dino of Valguero. So for number five, we've got the Deinonychus. The Deinonychus is an incredible dino. They look like a hairy raptor, but they do a lot more than a raptor would. These guys aren't actually tameable, you have to steal their eggs. So I've put my egg stealing and hatching guide for these guys in the top right of the screen now. So, despite looking sick, these guys can actually climb walls. This makes them extremely strong for this map, especially in the Chalk Hills area, where they're native to. The climbing is a bit buggy, but you'll get the hang of it after a few tries. These guys can take out dinos a lot bigger than themselves. They also benefit from pack bonuses, so if you have more than one, you can deal a lot more damage. They don't take full damage, which is great, and you really can travel the whole map very fast on one of these. 
Their bite will also inflict a bleed damage to enemies, and they can also latch onto bigger enemies, which is a very unique feature for this game. They're so strong, people even take a pack of these guys to do boss fights. So if you're going to be playing on Valguero, you need to get yourself a Deinonychus. Number 6. For this spot, I've put the Woolly Rhino. Because although I normally consider this map to be quite hilly and difficult to navigate on foot, there's also some big open grounds, making it so that flyers aren't actually essential on this map, for most areas. Now, we all know that a Woolly Rhino is very fast as it can charge, and a good Rhino can hit higher than Gigas, making it so you can literally ride round on a battering ram. Travelling on a Woolly Rhino means you don't really need to be scared about coming against other people, because most people are going to be scared of you. If you want to do the boss fights on Valguero, it's also a very good option to have one of these guys, obviously along with other things, because of their speed and strength. Number 7 we have the Therizino. I feel like you need a Therizino on any map you play on, but obviously for these lists I don't want to be listing the same dinos every time for each map. But these guys are literally the perfect all round dinos. So they're pretty quick, they're not the fastest things in the world, they'll outrun raptors just about, but they are extremely good harvesters. As you can see it will harvest thousands of fibre in just a couple of seconds. It's also decent at harvesting berries and it will harvest wood and thatch extremely well. On top of all this they even have stats similar to Rex's. Meaning that if you can get yourself a couple of good Therizinos for breeding, you don't even need to get Rexes. They're also herbivores, which gives us a very good benefit later game. And that is that these guys can eat sweet vegetable cake. If a herbivore is below 85% health and it has sweet vegetable cake in its inventory, it will consume it and that will give it 10% of its health back and you can eat one every 30 seconds. This makes them extremely strong in general obviously, but especially for the Valguero boss fights. Taking in a pack of these guys with sweet vegetable cakes on them, along with Uteranus and perhaps a Daydon, makes for a boss fight to be a lot easier than you once thought. Number 8. Now these guys had to come on this list sooner or later. For our last spot, we have the Procoptodon. These guys are another great all-rounder. They're very fast and you're going to get around the map very quickly on one of these. That is partly down to their jump. So you can do little jumps on them or you can charge up jumps and you can literally jump for miles. They take minimal full damage which is good. But as you can see from this, areas like the chalk hills that were once a bit of a mission to get around are now easy. They're good at harvesting berries which is also handy. And like the Gigantopithecus, they can cause a massive knockback with their kick and it even works with big dinos like Paracers. This makes fighting a lot of dinos very easy because they can't even get close enough to you to get a hit on you. And more importantly, no land dino will keep up with you if you're on a Procoptodon. These guys give loads of other great benefits and you should always have them in your tribe anyway. So when you're playing on Valguero, or any map for that matter, be sure to go and get yourself a Procoptodon. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Really hoped it's helped some of you out. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. It's a nice place to be. My Quick Guys playlist also has over 50 videos on it now. So if there's any guards you're looking for for Ark, be sure to go check them out. And hopefully there's something there that can help you. But for now, this has been the best Dynasty team on Valguero. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.